According to the latest Department of Health figures, dozens of teenage girls have had three abortions or more. 89 girls aged 17 or under who terminated a pregnancy last year had had done so, had done so at least twice before. And across uh, all ages, more than a thousand women wanting an abortion had had four previously. Now, to get an abortion on the NHS, you generally have to be referred by your GP or in some cases referred by an, a nurse. So taking all these new statistics into consideration, do you think that doctors should be given the power to refuse permission if somebody comes to them and they're having an abortion for the third, fourth or fifth time? Um, I definitely think um, that doctors need to have a say in how we handle this situation because it is out of control. Mm. Um, it's very difficult to put that onus on a doctor, I think, yeah. really. Um, but I'm horrified at those statistics, absolutely horrified, and I do feel that something desperately, desperately needs to be done. Mm. Um, I hate the kind of blasé attitude to these girls who've had, I mean, more than four. I mean, some of the statistics, they've had eight or nine. Mm. And it's just, for me, I'm sorry, but that's disgusting. You can make one, possibly two mistakes. Mm. But as something as traumatic as an abortion, yeah. if you can't learn from that mistake, then there is something well, desperately wrong. Especially when wrong. you're dealing with people who are so young, because you're not talking that many over no. a whole lifetime. Yeah. It's within actually quite a short space of time. I mean, I, I see what you're saying. I mean, doctors are pretty much at the front line. They're, yeah. they're the people that, uh, that people that women would go to once they need an abortion. But I, I personally think that doctors are there for your health and not necessarily mm. for your... D to give a sort of moral standpoint. And well, that's the they problem. Might not I don't think there's any morals there. But I don't necessarily think it's the place of the doctor. be good for your health? No. That, but that's what I mean. They can maybe disagree from a health standpoint, but not from a moral standpoint. Mm. If they wanted to, to say, hang on a minute, you need to take a, a short shot look at how you're behaving. have no morals. Yes, from a health point of view, but not from a moral point yeah, of view. But the doctors are also um, working, they must be working from guidelines. You know, there must be some, must yeah. have been some diktat from government that says that and this is, I'm so shocked by this, I really am. Girls between 12 and 16 yeah. can just get an abortion without even their parents knowing. Mm. They, do, they are in that counselling, though, so if maybe they can't go to their parents, they are offered Yeah, but the counselling is a formality. It always has been. You know, that's just the rule. As long as you've had counselling, it's not counselling, it's like, do you want an abortion? Yes, here you go. You know, and I've had one. And, and what, what I can't understand about this is why anybody in their right mind, young or not, would would be so uh, be so mad as to try and as to put themselves through that as a kind of way of dealing with unwanted pregnancy now there are so many ways to prevent yeah. unwanted pregnancies now why would you go why would you get to a stage how did we get to a stage where girls can just think that if they get pregnant, that's fine, just have another abortion. I, I think it's absolutely I think outrageous. Is, I think we're in a society now that accepts it. And I, I do, think that's honestly, where we've I think gone we've wrong. come to a point. I just, it, it is bizarre that we've actually come to this point in history. I can understand 25, 30 years ago when we didn't have contraception, we didn't have anything like that. I can understand that. What on earth has gone wrong? What's happened? I don't know what the answer is, but it's like... Well, how to save sex? Yes, I mean, it looks like a badge of honour, you know, like mm. an aspect. Oh, well, I've had... How many have you had? Oh, I've had five, I've had six. What's happened to you? I, I don't understand. Where's the education gone? I thought we were teaching girls from a young age. I thought they were listening. Why would you not uh, take uh, have contraception when it's free? Why would you not do any of that? What mm. has happened to society that we now have the, this amount of do you, girls? Do you think it's actually gone the other way, Sherry, that perhaps there is too much information out there? So girls... Well, I don't know. Because, I mean, I, I think, definitely, teenage girls now know an awful lot more about sex than when I was growing up. When I was a teenager, it was kind of hush hush there was a wee bit of shame involved you know if, if there were girls that fumbled <coughs> behind the bike shed it was a bit oh look at her whereas now the, the, they're told from I mean sex education from eight nine ten yeah. what have you May, maybe we need to actually well, reel back rather than telling them but you know much. you can't stop educating people you can't stop telling people what what there is out there because mm. you know and also you've got to think of all the unwanted babies if you stop the repeat you know you, you would have we don't want, we've got yeah. enough on one to babies as it is. Yeah. But what is the answer? Where has somebody gone wrong? You know, something's happened, hasn't it? We need to, yeah. you know what, we need to clear the desk and start again and say, let's look at this whole thing and see what has gone wrong. Absolutely, and we'd be really interested to hear what you think on this uh, tricky subject. So if you